everyone, welcome back to the official Under the Christmas Tree uk YouTube channel. I'm Holly, as I'm pretty sure you all will probably know by now, and today I'm going to be doing a demonstration on how to transform this box into a highly decorated Christmas box to store all your lovely gifts in. So, you know how you go to the store and you see all these lovely boxes where you can put tissue paper in them and decorate them and all those sort of things we're going to make that exactly into this just this, this little postage box and some wrapping paper so let me just show you my table of contents first of all you will need some boxes or a box this one is from Poundland believe it or not and it comes in a pack of three so this one here and you will need some wrapping paper I have chosen this pattern here which is decorated with Christmas trees stars and presents you will also need some scissors and you will need some tape, and we have a, a dispenser as well to make it a little bit easier on us and we will also have a few things for decorating so we have decided to use this emerald green ribbon and this is 50 millimeters wide which is two inches and that's going to go around the box and to secure that we're using some double sided tape, which you can just get from Poundland or your nearest supermarket um, and that's all you're going to require to make your box so things are getting really festive and under the Christmas tree.co.uk offices right now with Christmas literally three months away we are really in the festive spirit here and we hope that you are too so what we're going to be doing is a whole host of how to's to get you in that Christmas spirit so let's get started on how to do this box so to start off with what you want to do is unroll your wrapping paper to the size that you're going to require so the way to determine this is to sit that in the middle of the paper here and fold the paper over ever so slightly and turn the paper over and you will see that you can cover it completely and that way you will know which size you're going to require. So then just take some scissors, ours are lovely and pink in pattern because that's how we roll in under the Christmas tree offices and just cut yourself a sheet of paper just like so. I'm just going to set my wrapping paper down here as well. So if you're doing this, you might not want to do it with your children because that can sometimes make it a little bit messy. And also as well, it's quite therapeutic to do when your children aren't there. So some boxes need to be made up and some of them are a little bit complex. So what we're going to do is we're going to make up this one and it's very, very simple to do. You basically just pull in all the flaps, sell tape them down and you're good to go. You don't even need to sell tape them, but for the purpose of the demonstration, I'm going to, just in case you have to. So just taking some sell tape, and we'll just sell tape the inside of the box here. Basically, just securing all the flaps so that we have this sorted out. You can also put sell tape on the outside of the box if you need to, because remember, you're going to be covering it over with Christmas paper, so you're not going to see that anyway. So what you need to do is fold this up like I mentioned just a minute ago and pull this into the crease and what I have done is made two little incisions with my scissors, just cut the paper ever so slightly and cut it here as well just to fold it over okay. And what we're going to do is I'm going to secure that with some sellotape. We're going to need a lot of sellotape this, so you might want to make sure you've got plenty. So now that this bottom part is secured with some sellotape, what you want to do is just fold the bottom flap in and again I'm taking some more sellotape. I'm using all of your sellotape up just now and we're going to secure that properly down the bottom. I really hope that you can see this. Don't worry if you can see some sellotape because it'll probably get hidden with the lid anyway. And that is the box secure for that side. So what you want to do next is create a very small fold and then again make another incision and fold that over to the other side. It sounds a lot more complicated than it actually is because trust me, if it's not simple, I won't be able to do it. I can assure you of that. So what we want to do now is make a little fold. So I'm just folding it in here, like so. You don't want to fold too much or you will be able to see the very inside of the box and obviously we don't want that to happen so you fold and you can even fold again if that is needed to be and again make a little incision if you need to just to loosen off the paper ever so slightly 
So once we've done that, again, I'm going to secure it with a little bit of cello tape just at the side, just to make it sure that it's all held in place because we don't want it unraveling when we start to do the rest of the box. One more piece of cello tape. And then what we want to do is we want to make another incision. This time I'll just show you where the incision will be made. We will make it exactly directed here so that it folds over and is secured on the inside of the box so that you make sure that you get a really good finish. So we're just going to make an incision right here. wrap it inside there. It's starting to look a little bit like a Malteser box. <laughs> so we're just wrapping this on here and we'll just fold this part here. Fold it just to make it a little bit easier so there's not too much extra and then we just pull that up and into here. Now again if you would like to you can fold the edges in a little triangle just like so and do the same at the other side and secure it so that it fits snugly inside the box. And it's wrapped just like a parcel. So again, take some cell tape and we'll secure that. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to do the exact same process at the other side just to cut down the video a little bit and of course you can rewind it if you want to go and take a look at how to do the other side again. And I'll just put on the final piece of sellotape. Let's put another one on just for good luck. You can never have too much sellotape. <laughs> okay, so now that that part's done, you have got the front part and the bottom done. So what you want to do now is you want to move on to doing the top part of the box, which still looks like this, and it has these two flaps here, which you need to secure the box. So what you don't want to do is you don't want to secure the lid yet because obviously you still want to put your present inside there and it's so much easier if you're able to open and close the box and change what's inside the box there. So what we're going to do is we're going to do the lid separately. We're not going to fasten the lid first, we're going to do the lid separately. So in order to do that, what we need to do is turn the box up like this. Now it looks quite messy on the inside, I have to admit, it's got a lot of sellotape there. But again, you're not going to see that. Once you put some tissue paper in there, it'll be good to go. So what we're going to do now is we're going to make an incision here, along here, and then we're going to cut the paper a little bit just to make it fit that a little bit better. So first things first, I'm going to make an incision here. And again, just across here. And that just lets it move a little bit more freely. So what we're going to do is we're going to cut off some of the excess paper here. Leaving a little bit of space so that you can cover it. And again what we're going to do is cut off some paper here because we're not going to need all of this paper. Sometimes it's difficult to see just how much paper we're going to require. So I'm going to cut some off. I always feel like such a genius when you can get that slide and cut. It didn't work so well that time. So what we'll do first is we will discard this bit of paper, but keep it just in case you have a gift that is this size that you can wrap with. So first things first, what we're going to do is take this little bit of paper here and secure it here so that it's tidy. You're going to be doing a lot of tidying up when you're doing this. So just take that little bit of paper and we will just secure it with some cell tape. Okay, next thing we're going to do is we are going to take this bit of paper on this side and we're going to fold it in so that we get to use and cover up the flap. So just fold it, just like so, fold it in half, turn it over and we're going to secure it into here. Make sure it's nice and tight so that you can get a really good finish. And again we'll just secure this with some cell tape. 
So what we want to do is we're going to just tidy up this little bit here. And to do that, of course, we're going to use the handy sellotape. And just secure that there. And again, a little bit here. So the next thing you want to do is make a little fold right here, just like that. And we're going to do the same at the other side. But what I'm going to do first is I'm going to go and trim it up like I did with this side. Now we're just going to secure the other side with some sellotape and we should be ready to go. So now that this part has been done, we're going to fold this in and we're just going to put the flaps in so that our box is ready. So what you want to do at this stage is just have a wee scan around your box and see if there's any loose parts that need fastened up. I think mine is okay, but if you have some, which is quite common, I do it all the time, um, then go ahead and secure that. And now what we're ready to do is we're going to do the fun part, which is we're going to get to work on the ribbon. What we're going to do now is we're going to go and put some ribbon on to our box. So the way that we're going to do this is the way that you see in all the TV shows and all the fancy boxes, and we're going to do it like a crisscross, like that. So what we want to do is we're going to take it from the top of the lid, and we're just going to take a little bit from here. We're going to measure it round to here, and just bring it round into the inside of the box. So that's how much ribbon you're going to require. So what we're going to do now is we're going to cut off the ribbon where we require it. And then we're just going to secure that with some sellotape and some double-sided sellotape. Ooh, a little variation in the sellotape now. So first things first, what we're going to do is take some of this here, which is some double-sided sellotape, and we just want to put on a little strip first because you don't want too much. You don't want a full line going around because that way, if you wanted to change it, it's not such a big deal. So we're just going to cut off a little bit here. And then we're going to place that on the side of our box, just down here. And try and make sure that it's as central as possible because that's where you're going to be placing your ribbon. So now that part is done, the next thing we want to do is place another little bit here. So we'll take a little bit more. And this time you only need a small amount, maybe this much. And again, in line with the other part, we'll just take that and place it round about here. The next part we want to do is another length here and again we'll make this a bit bigger than the last piece but not over big and we will just place that roughly in the centre again so we'll just place that around about here and then we'll take another piece similar to the other smaller piece and place that again in the centre. And now you're good to go. So what you want to do is you want to take this little bit of your ribbon and lip it round. And then we're going to secure that with some sellotape. So take some sellotape and just secure that on the inside of the box with your sellotape. want to do is take off the first piece of the double-sided sellotape, the top part of it, which makes it sticky on the other side. <coughs> and then you bring this round and as tightly as you can secure that to the piece of double-sided sellotape, just like so. Then you do that on the next piece and so on. And then we're going to take our scissors and trim off any excess here and we will secure it on the inside with some sellotape. Now that was really quite simple. The first time that I did that I got all my measurements wrong and everything just seemed to be a little bit squint. Try not to worry if it's a little bit squint you can always do it again or go over the top of it and it should be okay to do that. <coughs> So there we have our first strip now. It's not perfect, but it's pretty good to go. 
and what we want to do next is we're going to do the same on the other side okay so the next thing you want to do is the lid now you have to do this separately from the rest of the box so you don't want to do this part on the sides just yet you just want to do the lid because if you go the whole way around you won't be able to open the lid so we'll do both separately so for this part what we're going to do is we're going to go and take our ribbon <clears throat> and again we'll just roughly measure this across and do it with the flaps open So like so, that should be enough and we'll take our scissors and again just cut it where we require it. So to begin with what we want to do is we want to secure it in the middle, so in the middle here. So we'll take some of our double sided cell tape, you can always use the individual pads by the way, but I prefer to use the double sided cell tape roll. So we're just taking a little bit here. And we're going to secure this into the middle of the ribbon just like that and then we'll take the top off like before and we'll take this over now make sure that you have this um, so that it covers both ends don't have it too far across one way or the other now what we're going to do is we're going to try and get this as straight as we possibly can hopefully it will be straight if it's squint it's a learning experience i haven't done this in a little while now um, but I hope that you all manage to get yours straight. So make sure that it's not too far over one side or the other and we'll just try and get this into the middle and make sure that it is as tight as possible, like so. So what we have done now is we have pulled this as tight as we possibly can across here and hopefully it's straight but I've made no promises because I'm not pretty sure to be honest with you. So what we're going to do now is we're going to put another bit of double sided cell tape on each side and just secure it like we did the other parts. So what we're going to do now is we're going to lift the flap up and we're going to secure this underneath here and of course we can trim off any excess ribbon that we no longer require and we can secure that with some regular cell tape. actually really therapeutic I really enjoy doing this I've done this for quite a few years now and it's something that my family and friends have all really enjoyed and I started out using just regular cardboard boxes that were um, flat pack and now I've moved on to using uh, other boxes which you can buy from eBay and other places like that and it makes it a little bit easier for opening the lids and things like that so at this point you can choose whether you want to just leave this as it is like so if you want to just leave it like that or you can choose to go all the way around we will go all the way around just to let you see exactly how to do it and of course you can put a great big bow on here or a ribbon or anything that you wish to put on there a little bit of cinnamon sometimes is really nice on top of here so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and attach the rest of the ribbon so that's the entire box covered now and it is ready to go. Of course you can put on a nice big bow or you can put on some ribbons like I mentioned before and if you're lucky we might even show you a how to demonstration on just how to make one of your own big bows using just this and a stapler. So we might show you how to do that, stay tuned and give us a thumbs up if you're really enjoying our um, how to demonstrations and if you would like some more demonstrations give us a little comment below and don't forget to like and subscribe thank you so much for watching bye